gym brands. There's a lot of them, but they're not doing anything new. And that's why today I'm going to create my own gym brand and revolutionize the industry, turn it on its heels, spin it around. I want to see how good of a brand I can create. And my goal for this video is to make a sale by the end of it. Starting from square one, I'm going to have to update my website which sucks because I really don't know how to do that. Shopify. As a one-man army, I'm gonna have to use Shopify and print on demand. Similar to dropshipping, you create and design the products. And once you make the sale, they make the product and send it to the person for you. It's actually so convenient, they do all the work for you. Here's some live footage from my sweatshop. Essentially, you make the sale and then they process the whole thing. But I'm in charge of the branding, the t-shirt, and creating the most coveted gym brand in America. Nay, the world. In the past, I haven't had much success selling t-shirts. I think it might be because my designs are really bad. This was the first t-shirt I ever made. I wanna burn my eyes out. I then tried to move into drop shipping and sell a sunshine alarm clock. That didn't work too well either, but I do love sunshine alarm clocks. This was my YouTube merch for a little bit. Then I upgraded the design to this. And currently my website looks like this. It's just an ebook on here. We're really gonna have to find a collection that's beautiful and makes us want to sell it. These are the ones I came up with. A pump cover, a water bottle, pants, shoes. I think these are gonna be great products to set that ground foundation for this company, really send us to the stratosphere. And if I can just create these products, we're gonna be going places. Now that we're a quarter away in the video, it's probably a good time to decide what my brand's gonna be called, but I have a plan for this. Post Malone style, I'm gonna go to a random uh, name generator and find out what our brand name is gonna be called here. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, why don't I just go to ChatGPT? What am I doing? Ooh, I like peak performance threads. That's a good one. Core climb conquer. Kind of lame. Odyssey outfit. Core quest gym. I like quest protein bars. Optimate orbit. <laughs> Optimate. <laughs> I can't even say it. Optimum orbit outfits. Now that's a name. ChatGPT really just said, I'm going to come up with the most brutal tongue twisters and say they're gym brands. Accelerate extreme zwear. Jiggle fit. Muscle mingle. Flexilla. <laughs> Giggle gains? <laughs> I've found that the hardest part about making anything is coming up with the name. Sometimes you just need to pick something and go with it. Otherwise, you'll stay on the name forever. With that being said, we're going to go with Optimum or <laughs> We're going to go with Optimum. We're going to go with that one, and then I'm going to uh, maybe come back and change that later. And off we go to Photoshop. First up, an extra, extra, extra large pump cover. And this model just seems like he's loving his life in this pump cover. I think it's gonna be a perfect product for our brand. I just need to create some designs for it and make it look nice. I went into Canva and started cooking up a design. Every good company has a logo. Gymshark, Nike, Adidas, Big Baller brand. I'm actually a very big, big baller brand fan. I think we're gonna go in that direction with the triple O's. Optimum Orbit outfits. As you can see here, we have some some O's. I thought this was a little bit too bland. I tried adding a little space guy and a demogorgon. It didn't really end up working out the way I thought it would. I just, simplicity guys. The minimalistic style is kind of in now anyways. I made it really small on the front of the t-shirt. We're looking sharp. However, we're not done with ChatGPT just yet. I went back and created a design for the back of the t-shirt. Sometimes I don't really understand ChatGPT, but it started giving me some designs until I got one I wanted. After editing it and making it look all fancy and wancy, it's pretty sick. I threw it on the back of the t-shirt and now it's looking really nice, but it's, it's missing something. I don't know, I feel like I need another design, you know? I know what to do. I don't even like sailboats. I put it on the left sleeve and it's looking good. I then finalized it, put it on my website, and made it only extra, extra large. This is gonna make us unique, give us cool baggy clothing, and separate us from the competitors. Sometimes I feel like I'm not the smartest dude in the shed, and in the past, it's never really been too successful for me. A lot of times when these things come in the mail, they aren't like I thought they would be. Sometimes you got an idea, and it just doesn't turn out the way you want it to. But I think if you just keep chucking along, you get something good. And I think we did all right this time. And although I don't have the t-shirt yet, I made an AI commercial. Take it away, Clyde. The Optimum Orbit Outfits. Pump cover isn't just clothing. It's a piece of armor for the modern athlete. It's where your inner strength takes on a form. Every rep, every set, every grind. Suit up, stand out, and step into greatness. This is your moment. This is Optimum Orbit. Embrace the orbit. Embody the optimum. Everybody needs a water bottle in their life. I'm of the belief that if you're not hydrating, you're dehydrating. And look at this water bottle. I'm not talking about some water bottle that you could just buy. This is a bowling pin shaped water bottle with a glossy finish, odorless and leak proof cap. Two things that you kind of want in a water bottle. One for it to be odorless and two for it to be leak proof. And then it's also insulated. 
although it is kind of small and you can only hand wash it. And also just make sure that you don't keep the water in the bottle for over 24 hours because it's unhygienic and can re result in an unpleasant smell, which I'm a little confused about because I thought it was odorless. Looking at the reviews, these people loved it though. Brilliant, good quality water bottle. Kept my water cold all day. This is a great water bottle, perfect for our collection. I started off with a regular design here. Uh, it was just kind of bland. I didn't really like it. I went into ChatGPT and asked it for some designs for me. I actually loved the designs it's already creating for me. The mock-ups of the water bottles were beautiful. I might get this tattooed on my body or my face. It spelled the slogan wrong, but to be honest, I can't even say the name of the brand, so I don't really care. I took the liberty to add some spice to it here, and I really worked hard. Got a little bit confused on how to remove the water bottle from the picture, so I just cut it. Also added what were supposed to be some Debbie Gorgons and a picture of me edited to be heat waves, poking my eyes out as if I'm a hippo stalking its prey. I also added a sailboat. It's beautiful. Optimum Orbit Outfits Hydration Vessel. Designed for the active individual, this water bottle is not just a container. It's an emblem of your commitment to health and performance. Embrace the orbit. And boy, be automate. But we can't go to the gym without pants on. I decided to hit the drawing board. Pantaloons. I was actually going to use shorts, but then I saw these and they look super cozy. I don't know what this message keeps popping up for, though. After getting confused, I decided to move on to the next one. I'm sorry. Pants really aren't that cool anyways, so instead I made a hat. A denim hat. It actually looks really sick. I took the Optimum Orbit logo, threw it on there. I actually think it's gonna turn out really well. This isn't just a hat. It's armor for the elite, crafted to withstand the relentless pursuit of greatness. Featuring advanced moisture wicking fabric to combat the heat of the fray, this cap is your crown in the conquest of challenges. So embrace the orbit, embody the Optimum, or die trying. And lastly, number four, shoes. Nothing like a pair of kicks to, to walk in. I like these ones because they kind of look like the ones from Sandlot. And if it's going to give me any torque or any extra power, that's good. It didn't really match up with the outline for my shoes. I just expanded it and threw it on there. And once I slapped that baby on there, it was looking pretty nice. The Optima Morbid Outfits shoes epitomize avant-garde sartorial engineering, synthesizing quintessential aesthetics with cutting edge technological innovations to catalyze unparalleled athletic ascendancy. Okay, it's been a couple days and the only one I got is the water bottle, but it looks pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna go out there into the real world and uh, try to make a sale. I'm gonna aim to sell this bad boy for retail price, $29. Although talking to strangers is a little bit scary. Colin ventured to Walmart intending to secure a sale, yet he was swiftly engulfed by the trepidation of conversing with the strangers within its confines. Consequently, he returned home, bearing only a tub of Greek yogurt and a crippling sense of disappointment. Embrace the orbit! Now available at the Walmart near Colin's apartment in the macaroni and cheese aisle.